Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry and today is Subscription Saturday. I love Subscription Saturday because these are super easy layouts to put together. They don't take any time at all. And they're just, I mean, they're fun. So the first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is we're going to pop out all of these littles and just get this done right away. Now I've gone ahead and matted the photos because I was prepping the journaling or part of the journaling and got a little carried away. So the photos are already matted. Scoot everything up there. So the first thing I'm going to do before I forget is there's some strips here. I'm going to take those strips off and put them where they belong. Because I will forget to do this part. These layouts are meant to be super simple, super quick. They remind me of the layouts that close to my heart had. 15 years ago, they were the level one layouts to where 90% of the work was done for you. You basically just plopped your photos down. And these remind me a lot of that. This is a good kit if you don't have a lot of time, but you enjoy scrapbooking and you just want to do something easy. So the D is there. So the next thing they want you to do is take foam tape and put over these little letters. I spent yesterday inking up the place making splatters and they, they put splatters on the paper for us today. dog that was that was a bit time consuming so now we've got I'm not going to use the circle for journaling because I have different journaling so I'm going to set that part aside but I have these guys and the sample photos are people frolicking on the beach and happy every day well Every day is snapshots of my life. Well, this is snapshots of my life. And while these were taken, I was still working at the hospital. So, it really was just every day. And what it doesn't show, because I was the one behind the camera, was me waddling down the stairs every day at 1.30. I'd get home at 7 in the morning. I would sleep until 1.30. Do a couple of chores around the house while I'm half asleep. 
and then get ready for the, the child to get home and which at that time she was in 10th grade so I didn't have to go sit in carpool lane thank God because I spent years sleeping in the carpool lane And then if, I, you know, if we wanted to eat, we had to wake up early enough to actually get some food in our tummies. And green. So this, oh, I gotta get the purple one too. Green and purple. So this side is basically done. So I'm going to scoot it over. I'm going to come back and put the journaling on. I will wait till I get all the photos on. So, kitchen, scrap room. And if you, if you don't believe that your house changes through the years, this is my scrap room in 2013. It has changed so much since 2013, it's not even funny. And if we never get the new studio built out, it's going to change more because it will actually be a new room. Our biggest, right now, it's just my husband doesn't have time. Since he is the major construction person, I'm just going to wait patiently. Because when he does have time, it will be beautiful. Okay, so they want a yellow heart right there. I really am just looking at a picture and plopping down where they want it to be plopped. Nothing major. Nothing technical, just plopping down a heart. Alrighty, they have this there. Now I have my choice of journaling spaces. In the original, the journaling space is here. So do I put it here? Or do I put it there? Hmm. Now also in the original, it is this circle, so the whole circle's right there. But I do not believe, yeah, see this is too big to even, even pretend it's on a circle. Oh, that one. Ooh. It would trim. You know what, let's try. So I'm gonna tack it down. it Make sure everybody's in the in the frame nobody's gonna get cut out right there everybody would get cut out so 
So now what I'm going to do is just take my scissors and cut along. No, actually that's not going to work. I'm going to do it this way. You don't think your fingers get inky when you're scrapbooking? I'm leaving little black fingerprints. Just to make sure it stays, I'm going to add a couple of staples. And one more. We have to put down the put down the rainbow. So here is page one. And I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can actually see the dimension of the letters. And then page two. And then the other thing that I did, because I had way more photos. So here they are side by side. is I just took a memory flap from close to my heart and added more photos. So it'll sit in the album just like this. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I know there's a million and one different things that you could be doing and I'm thankful that you chose to spend a few minutes of it with me. Until next time, bye bye.